welcome to Garden Style. So today I am going to be showing you how to make a big fluffy fuchsia basket. And it's not just fuchsias, we've actually got a real nice mixture of annuals to go in with them. So that creates a little more variety in the basket. So what I have started with today is I have the actual wire basket and you can buy the cocoa liners that you see here. This is all made out of recycled cocoa from the outsides of a coconut, so it's really easy. And I have filled the pot um, almost to about an inch to two inches from the top. And as you can see here, I have actually cut holes in the cocoa in six different places. I have like six different plants that I have put in here. And I'll give you a close up of the top so that you can see what it looks like. And what I have done is I have started from the inside of the pot and I left one out just so I could show you guys how I do this. And you just gently poke the plant through the little hole, just like this, just like that. You just be real gentle with them. It's like I got a little extra cocoa in there. And boil off. And then what I do is I take the back part of it, the root part, and I actually put a little hole in there and then I finish covering it with the dirt. That way, these guys will spread and actually fall down around the entire edge of your basket so that you're not looking at the bottom of it all the time. And that'll help really fluff it out on the outside. And what I'm using today is Bacopa. These are awesome in either sun or part, um, I'm sorry, shade or part sun. <laughs> and they will just bloom and bloom and bloom all summer long and help to fill out the outsides. That way you're not just um, looking at the bottom of the pot all, all the time while everything else is trying to fluff out. And these guys will do a super good job of, of uh, covering up the bottom. So here we go. And you can see on the inside here where I have all the plants. And I just dug a little hole so that I could put all the roots down. And then I'm going to start in the center of the pot. So here we go. Okay, so a super easy thing to do is I actually took another hanging basket and I put this on the inside so that it holds it steady while I'm trying to plant in the middle. So the first thing I'm going to start with is some Numesia, which is awesome. This is called Flirtation Glacier White. And I am putting him in the center just because it'll give it some height um, and it doesn't appear all flat. And then we're just going to give it a spot here. like that. And we're going to cover him just like that. And then I've got some fuchsias that I'm going to plant on either side. And this is a basket you're going to see from all sides anyway when it's hanging. So I'm going to be very, try and be very symmetrical <laughs> about this. I did this last year and these baskets just turned out amazing. So I've got a fuchsia going in here on one side. And I'll put another one on the other side. And this is kind of what they look like. So they're just beautiful um, with the dark purple and then the fuchsia tops on them. Really, really pretty. And I take a little bit off the bottoms of them because we're going to be cramming a lot of plants in here today. Okay, and he goes just like that. And we'll definitely be adding more soil here as soon as we get done planting everything. And I am actually going to squeeze another one in on the front of the basket. And these are all annual, so it's perfectly okay to just cram them in there. I'm all about instant gratification. And they'll have the rest of the summer to fill out. Let's cram him in there, just like that. The cool thing about uh, poking these out of the sides like this is they kind of hold themselves in place once you've got everything in there. So now I've kind of got like a little triangle of fuchsias, and then I have the nemesia, which will be coming up through the center. Then I found some more trailers, 
and I decided to go with the Caliber Coas. Um, this is like a Petunia's cousin, and they're awesome trailers, and they just bloom their little hearts out all summer long. So I'm going to be putting some of those in. And I just got some more fuchsia ones just due to the fact they will help mimic the colors and the actual fuchsia flowers when they all start to come out. You have to kind of manipulate them in there. Yeah, the space is tight. That's okay, they can handle it. And I always tilt them out a little bit towards the rim of the basket. I have another one that I am putting in. Just gotta squeeze them and manipulate the roots down in there. Just like that. Okay. And then I figured I would add a nice yellow one in there just for some contrast. Put him along the front. in here, possibly. Squeeze that root ball a little bit. These guys are tough as nails. They can take it. Just like that. There we are. Now, another cool little vine that I purchased the other day is a lotus vine. And I like them because of their little fuzzy textures. And I'm just gonna throw one in here just to mix things up a little bit and uh, add some more texture to the basket. And these do actually bloom. Um, but they're not normally purchased for their blooms. It's for the um, feathery texture that they offer when you put them in the basket. So I just kind of poke a little hole there to fit him down in there, just like that. No worries. There we go. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is start filling in the top of it with soil. Give them a good watering and hang them up. So I'll show you the finished product here in just a second. Okay, so there's the finished product. Got it all planted. Yes, he looks a little weird right now, but you give him about four weeks and he'll be bushed out and super fluffy. So the cool thing with the cocoa liners is they'll probably last you about two, three years and they're super easy to replace if you need to replace them. Uh, these are brand new for me, but I know my last ones were about four years old, so I definitely got my mileage out of them before I had to go and replace them. I just emptied the dirt out, cleaned them out, and reused them. So it's really cool. You can uh, put big enough holes in the sides to put all your plants in, and if you want, you could put in another layer, like underneath, if you wanted to. But I have tried that before and I have found that this is plenty. Um, these plants are so vigorous that they will just take off and bush out. So the soil that I used for these already has Osmocote in it, which is a slow release fertilizer. And I will go with that probably for the next four to six weeks. And then I will actually use a water soluble fertilizer like miracle Grow, or there's all kinds of them on the market out there and give them an extra boost every other week during the summer. Now with cocoa liners, these will dry out. They dry out very quickly. Um, so you may find during the summer you have to water these every day. And, uh, and that's okay, you know. It uh, is well worth it when you see how fluffy and how pretty they are. So there's an idea for you. And what I'm gonna do is hang this up and I'm actually gonna water the outside of the cocoa liner. I'm just gonna just soak the daylights out of it. And after that, it will actually hold the water really well. Um, 
and these are shade baskets anyway so for the first few weeks um, during April and probably the beginning of May these aren't going to require a whole lot of watering like an everyday watering unless we get some weird heat wave or something but uh, I just have really good luck with these and so there's an idea for you for building a basket and uh, in my next video I will also show you how to make a real nice fluffy basket out of self-watering hanging baskets uh, which I've also had good luck with and I usually use those for sunnier spots where I'm hanging them all right you guys so get out there get your hands dirty now's the time we're getting towards the end of April beginning of May and this is the time to really start building your baskets so that they have plenty of time to get nice and fluffy by the time end of May and June So there you go. They do look a little weird at first, um, but I forgot to mention that you will probably want to rotate these at least once or twice a month, and that way they're just nice and uh, symmetrical all the way around as they grow towards the sun. Um, but grab your mom. This would be a really cool idea for Mother's Day or to get ready for Mother's Day. Grab your mom and, and come up with a project um, that you could do with her. So. Hope you enjoyed this little project, and we hope to see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.